In this tutorial, we will look at your meeting options for an online Teams meeting. This is important because you can use these to set your participants as attendees. When you do a normal Teams meeting and you do not change your settings, all of your participants will come in as presenters, which means they will be able to share their screen, mute others, and do things that you likely don't want them to be doing. So here is how this is done. First of all, what you're going to need to do is schedule your meeting outside of a Teams channel. That's one of the most important pieces. So what, what you've seen is how to schedule office hours within a channel. You've seen how in other tutorials how to schedule a meeting within a team. But when you do that, you do not get access to the meeting options. So what you need to do is you need to go to your calendar in Teams. So I'm going to click over here on the calendar icon. And then you need to schedule a meeting over here at the top right. We're going to go to new meeting. We're going to go ahead and call this class meeting as an example. I'm going to obviously need to put in all of my attendees. Here I would be putting in my entire class. In this case, I'm just putting in one attendee because I have I need at least one attendee to show how this works. Um, I'm going to schedule this for today at two o'clock, and do not add a channel. Okay, no matter what you do, do not add a channel, or else you will not get these options. Because when you add a channel, it's going to take the options that are this that are set up within that channel. All right, so that's all I need to do. I'm going to click send on this. So this gets now saved to my calendar. And it's down here at two o'clock scheduled on the calendar. So now what I'm going to do is open this back up so I can access the meeting options. So now you see um, the, the here's the join link down here to join the Teams meeting. But up here at the top, I have meeting options right here. And so this allows me now to go in and uh, modify how my attendees arrive and what status they are given when they arrive to the meeting. So basically it's one key setting you wanna look at, which is who can present. So who can present, the, it's by default, it's set to everyone. That means everyone's going to become a presenter. So we don't want that. So I'm going to click the drop down and I'm going to say only me. I'm the only one who can present during this team's meeting. Now, this can be changed later. Once the meeting starts, if you want someone else in the meeting to present, you'll be able to promote them to a presenter. However, you could do that now. Let's say you have a co-teacher who's going to be working with you. Then you can select uh, specific people can present. And then as long as they were invited to your meeting, you'd be able to then select those individuals to become presenters. All right, for, for this demonstration, I'm just going to select only me and I'm going to save. So now when I launch that meeting, I will be the only presenter by default everyone else will come in as attendees. All right, and those are the meeting settings for a Microsoft Teams meeting.